Hi, I'm here with uh, Ray Hightower from Chicago Ruby, also the lead organizer for uh, Windy City Rails Conference. Uh, but we're going to be talking about uh, Chicago Ruby right now. Uh, Ray, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Chicago Ruby and what kind of meetings you have? And, mm -hmm. Well, sure. Oh, about Chicago Ruby? Yeah. Well, Chicago Ruby is a user group. Our mm -hmm. motto is when smart people challenge each other to grow, great mm -hmm. things happen. So we get together and we share ideas. We have three events every month, mm -hmm. three meetings each month, one downtown uh, that ThoughtWorks sponsors every month, uh, okay. on a second one, a hack night downtown that is typically sponsored by Enova Financial. And in the western suburbs in Elmhurst, uh, the Forest Group gives us a space there where we meet on the third Saturday of every month. So we have three meetings every month. What kind of what kind of uh, numbers do you usually see? What kind of audience do you usually bring? Do you, like how many uh, do you bring in designers, developers, more people working with Rails, more people working on other Ruby Yeah, projects? we um, we've done surveys to determine who mm -hmm. comes out to our meetings. We've got really four groups: developers, designers, entrepreneurs, and investors. Mm -hmm. Roughly ninety percent self-select as developers, forty percent designers. You see, there's some overlap if right. you draw a Venn diagram. Yeah, and then. Uh, so just dev designers. Yeah. yeah, devs and designers, and then uh, entrepreneurs and investors together make up about five percent of the people who mm -hmm. identify in one of those uh, four groups. Now that's that's really interesting that you have people coming out that identify themselves as entrepreneurs and investors. Now, uh, do you mean like actual people that, that aren't doing Ruby Dev that are? coming out to meet Ruby Devs at the group? Yeah, there are a handful of people. You know, at every meeting we get a few people who come out and say, hey, I'm looking for devs uh, or designers. I've got this idea and I want to build a team to do this. So we get a few people coming out who, who want to meet some people to do that. But mostly because of the content of our meetings, mm -hmm. the lion's share of the people at our meetings are developers or designers. Right. Because that that's who we who, who we want to please. Yeah. You know, when we say when smart that's people... That's your audience. That's our audience. That's our primary yeah. audience. Yeah. And so the other people are there because they're attracted by the primary audience. Yeah, as you that's said. interesting. Yeah. That's a interesting uh, dynamic. Um, now, a typical meeting is it usually a presentation format, or do you do hands-on labs, or is it? It mix? depends. It depends. Uh, the downtown meetings are always there's a presentation followed by Q and A, followed by uh, a visit to a bar afterwards, ah. where we engage in adult beverages and brainstorming. <laughs> Uh, so that's what we do downtown. That's on the first Tuesday of every month. Uh, we max out at 100 on the RSVPs there. Holy so God. we typically get about 50. Sometimes okay. we'll get um, 70, 80 in there, depending on the topic. Have you ever had a meeting where if you're, you're maxed out 100, where you, have you ever exceeded that? Have you ever? Yeah, uh, what we find is um, We've gone beyond the 100 in RSVPs, but mm -hmm. if, it, if it's a really nice day outside, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you might get 120 RSVPs, but a bunch of people go to the beach because yeah. we're at the Aeon building, which isn't too far from the lake. Yeah. So some people on the way to the meeting, I imagine some people just hop on their bikes and go to the lake. Yeah, they're like, you never on, know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's it's cool. You know, and we have to live balanced lives and all that stuff. So it's 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 funny, but um, you know, we find that when we get 100 RSVPs, typically we'll have about 70 or 80 at the meeting right uh, but our average at the downtown meetings is probably about 50 uh, our hat nights well just recently we had a hat night um, uh, last week that had 50 plus um, I don't know what the exact number was there but I know it was more than 50 out in the suburbs we'll get anywhere from 5 to 20 somewhere okay. in there because that's yeah. a Saturday morning right yeah, you know, yeah. yeah that's what I want to ask you about is yeah is your schedule because you have a unique Dynamic. You're not just doing one group. It's like a, like a chain of groups. Like yes. A, a system of groups that you have the hack nights. Yes. You have the downtown meetings. And yes. You also have the Elmhurst meetings. Right. Right. How do you coordinate those? And do you have a team of people that you work oh, with? Oh yes, we absolutely have a team. If you go to our GitHub repo at GitHub.com/slash/ChicagoRuby, you'll see a a. a, a a repo within our repo, a directory within our re repo called How Chicago Ruby Works. Oh, okay. And in there is the organization of how we build it. All right, I'm going to uh, definitely link to that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I would take a look at that. And that, that evolved over time. We actually started off in Elmhurst. Mm -hmm. 
we started off in Franklin Park. We were five guys meeting in a library in Franklin Park when yeah. I became the organizer. And um, when I became organizer, I said, I'm not going to do it by myself. I want other people to work with me. One of the other guys in that room was Matt Toledo, who right. you know. Yes. So Matt became an organizer then. Uh, Victor Hong, Will Chung. There's, uh, if you go to ChicagoRuby.org, mm -hmm. we maintain a list of organizer and alums, people who've been part of the organizer team over time. Oh, wow. And so the way we managed the three groups is, well, the Hack Night, for example. Jenny Hendry came up to get me at one meeting and said, hey, Ray, we should do Hack Nights. And yeah. I said, yeah, Jenny, you should organize it. <laughs> so that's how Jenny became an organizer. Right. You know, part so, of so when people came to work with you, you gave them like some support and, and help to go Oh, off yeah, yeah. All the support in the world. And we, yeah, because they had great ideas. Jenny had a great idea of doing Hack Nights. Uh, Dave Junta came to us one day and said, hey, we should do Coding Dojo. I said, okay, Dave, you can run it. <laughs> Dave Junta was an organizer of Chicago Ruby for a couple of years, and he brought a lot of good ideas to us, okay. you know, and to Windy City Rails as well. Yeah. So, you know, having, you're, you're kind of a, uh, a veteran in the field of running user groups. Well, if somebody is looking to start up a user group now, mm -hmm. is there any kind of sage wisdom you might want to add? Sage like, wisdom. Yeah. How about some just <laughs> random stuff off the groups, top of my head? So, yeah. <laughs> sage wisdom, whatever. You know what has worked well for us? One of the first things that we did when, when I first became organizer was, uh, first thing I wanted to do is make sure we had consistency. Because we want people to know that they can put on their calendar a Chicago Ruby meeting a year in advance. They, they won't necessarily know the topic. We won't know the topic. But we'll know the date, the time, and the place. So with that consistency, everybody can plan around it. And then once you have that, then you, you want to get good speakers. And uh, the, the speakers really draw people in. Uh, you want a location that's accessible. One of the problems we had when I first became our we had to pay $5 a piece per meeting to pay for the library room. So that's oh, yes. crazy. Yeah, you're, you're, you know how that works. Yeah. For this library in the western yeah. suburbs. Mm -hmm. We were fortunate that Lee DeForest, who owns a building in Elmhurst, right. had a place for us to meet. He's, Lee said to us, hey, uh, you can meet in the basement of my building. It's a great spot. It's like a clubhouse. Like, uh, remember the Art Gang uh, comedies with the yeah. snake, you know? Yeah. It's like a clubhouse. <laughs> and, you know, Lee set us up. But no, no girl sign. Oh yeah, <laughs> we have yeah we we are very friendly to women and you know black people yes, yes. <laughs> very friendly across and you know just the Ruby community in general is very open to people I find yeah. you know I was you know immediately accepted when I didn't know anybody you know that you know that from yeah you know, your I've gone into new groups and yes not known anybody and yeah. But yeah. usually, most groups are pretty welcoming because if people are willing to get together to spend their time to talk about, you know, it's always one more person to talk to. Yes. Know, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that's what we do. Um, thank you very much, Ray. This is thank you. Ray uh, from Chicago Ruby. Thank you very much for talking with thank us. Thank you, Mike. Thank, thank you. you for having me.